everyone out there in YouTube land. Coyote Peterson here, and I've got the answer to the question that you've all been asking. Well, we got a lot of great questions this past week, and I'm scrolling through my phone, and I've been collecting them this whole season on Dragon Tales, and the one question that everybody wants to know is, have you ever been bitten by a snapping turtle? If you have been bitten, how bad does it hurt? That hurt. Can they bite off your finger? Do they let go? Guys, I was bitten, and you saw it this past week on Dragon Tales. That was the worst bite that I've ever taken from a snapping turtle. I've been nipped before. I get clawed up all the time. I'm not worried about the claws. The bites usually come on like my leg, or they'll, they'll just nip me, and it's never been a big turtle. Uh, but when we were filming at Lost Lake, it was a 26-pound turtle, and I was, I was distracted. There were nine snapping turtles on that dock when we were working filming that episode. And I've never been around that many snapping turtles before at once. Um, one of the turtles had a bunch of mud and algae on its head, and I went to the edge of the dock and, and dipped it off into the water. And as I was lifting him up, there was a leaf on his head. And for some reason, I thought I could quickly brush that leaf off. And the moment that I did, he turned his head and he struck. And he got the whole top of my thumb in his beak. The bite force in these animals is unbelievable. It happened so quickly, I didn't even feel it. I felt the hit, and then I looked at my thumb, and it immediately just blood spewing everywhere. Now, unfortunately, Mark wasn't rolling the camera at that moment, but I looked at my thumb, and I said to him, dude, that turtle just bit the top of my thumb off. And he's like, what, wait, what? And that's the moment where you guys saw in the episode that the camera was just sitting on the dock and we're pacing back and forth. And I'm saying, well, at the very least, we, we got to film this. I wanted you guys to see how bad that bite was. So we finished out weighing the turtle and uh, then we went into how to medically treat it. So we're gonna show you guys a little bit of that footage here. And we didn't show this shot in the actual episode. And this is the moment where I want to say, if you're squeamish, if you're under 18 years old, um, if you don't like blood, if you don't want to see what my thumb looked like after the bite, click away from the video right now. You're not going to hurt my feelings. I don't want to make you sick to your stomach. But if you're ready, I'm going to give you a second. Here we go. We're going to show you the shot. It's going to be out of focus at first, and it will come into focus. And there it is. That is the top of my thumb hacked off by a snapping turtle. It was bad. It, it hurt like crazy. We cleaned it up with antiseptics right there in the field. Yeah, he took a good chunk of you. That was scar. Yeah. At least he didn't get my whole finger. Yeah, it could have been a lot worse, guys. Mark mushed the meat back down into my thumb. We wrapped it up really tight and we continued on filming because that's what we had to do. We're out there in the middle of nowhere. Uh, it's not like we could leave and come back and, and reshoot the episode. So we just kept going. When we got back to civilization, we cleaned it up really good and I'm fine. I'm lucky I didn't get an infection. Reptiles have a lot of bacteria in their mouths. That's one thing that I was afraid of. And if you want to see my thumb now, there it is. You can see there, it's healing up pretty well. That's 19 days later. And the turtle really just sliced off the epidermis layer and didn't quite get down into the dermis. So I got lucky. Had he caught me above the nail, he probably would have completely chopped off the top of my thumb. And I think the moral of this story is that snapping turtles are incredibly dangerous. They're beautiful reptiles. I love working with them. I've been doing this for 20 years, but hopefully you guys are gonna walk away with a lesson. You should not go out there and try to catch these animals. I'm experienced at doing this. If you see a snapping turtle in the wild, take a picture of it with your phone from a safe distance. Send me that picture. Don't send me a picture of you trying to catch a snapping turtle because I'm just gonna be worried that you guys are gonna take an injury like I did. Great questions, guys. I'm so glad that I got to answer that one and give you a little insight as to what happens when Coyote does get injured in the field. Keep writing in. Next week, let's do something silly. Not so serious, not so gross. Send me in some goofy questions and I'll be answering them out here in the wild. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. Keep your thumbs up. We'll see you guys next Friday. Let's just, let's just, let's just film this wait with him. I feel like I just got bit by this guy. All right, well, this is what happens when you handle snapping turtles. This turtle just bit the top of my thumb off. Before the idea of launching Dragon Tales, I had a website. Domain.com is the place to go when the next great idea hits you. It's one-stop shopping for all your domain name and web hosting needs. Because you watch Dragon Tales, you can get 20% off new domains, web hosting, and email by using the code COYOTE when you check out. When you think domain names, think Domain.com.